Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the easiest way to update the PHP version in XAMPP. So, the easiest way to do so is by using the newest or the latest portable version of XAMPP and then replacing the PHP folder. So I'm gonna show you step by step what you need to do. The first thing that I'm gonna do is open the Explorer in the XAMPP in order to open the XAMPP folder. Now over here we have the PHP of course and this is the current one that we have. Always make a backup, of course, so whenever you make any change, keep a backup just in case, so you can easily revert the changes. Alright, so before we move on, I can already rename this PHP folder, so I'm gonna change its name, and let's say I'm gonna name it like original, you can also like um, add like a current version of the PHP, or just name it how you want, as long as it will be stored as a backup just in case. And you might also need it uh, later on, once you use the original, or actually the newest PHP. Uh, if you, for instance, made any changes with the php.ini file. So if you have changed the default settings. Alright, so now we're gonna download the latest version of XAMPP. Alright, so let's go to the latest version. And we will be redirected. Let's go to Windows and this is the version that I want and I'm gonna choose the portable version and I'm gonna use the 7-zip uh, version as well so I'm gonna download this one since I won't need I don't really need to reinstall XAMPP at all I just need the portable version so that I can just take what I need and nothing else all right so after we download the portable version, we will also need like uh, WinRAR or the 7-zip program in order to be able to um, to open the the 7-zip file or the package. And we're gonna go inside the XAMPP file and of course this is everything like fresh, this is the latest version of the application. And over here I have the latest PHP folder. So what can I do is simply copy it and paste it into my current P uh, XAMPP uh, version, like so. It's gonna probably take like a second or two in order to do that. After you finish that, like I said, if you made some changes to the original settings file, you want to go back to the PHP uh, backup and then copy the changed settings, for instance, in the php.ini and then paste it into the new PHP folder. And you might also need to restart XAMPP in order to apply these changes. But that's pretty much it. This is the easiest way to, to update PHP without losing your configuration settings in the whole XAMPP application. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.